Hi, and welcome to the video. So, I know what you're thinking. Nevaeh, why is your hair looking all crazy? You didn't even do any of your makeup yet. Um, so today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do this because this is my 10th video. Happy 10th video, everybody. And that's like, I'm pre-filming this so that I don't have to like, you know what I mean? Like I don't have to post on my birthday and stuff. So I'm just putting, we're gonna be doing the a Meg the Stallion transformation today. I think I'm gonna try to do a transformation every 10 videos. So for my 10th video, for my 20th video, and for my 30th video and 40th one. So right now, we're gonna be doing obviously her Aquarius, the blue, her famous blue look. And I'm just right now just like sectioning everything off, seeing where everything should go. So before I start with putting the blue in my hair. So I think we're gonna get started on putting the blue in. So we're gonna be using this hair paint wax that literally everyone has used on their channel by now. So I, I the thing is, it's like I wanted to use these because I have them. And literally, there's so much left, like look. Um, there's, so I had, I have a few of them actually. I have the red one, the purple one, and then a white one. So I want to do different looks with, with different ones. But yeah, I'm just going to start kind of putting this in my hair. Woo. It's like harder than I remember it being. Yeah, I'm just going to start making my hair blue. And yeah, I'm just going to sit here and probably start talking about a few things so that this is not boring or maybe i'll speed this up i honestly don't even know like this i don't know how long this is going to take so i think i might talk through some of it and then start speeding up just so that the video is not forever or i'll start cutting certain parts out just so the video is not like super long but yeah i'm just trying to do the parts that people will see. My hands are already like super blue. Okay, anyway, new new discussion. So, I've noticed that you guys liked, I feel like I have, you guys like the Doja Cat video. I am going to revisit it because I think that I can do better. So, not that the other one wasn't like good. It was a good video, but I just, I don't like that it was a fail video instead of, you know, I want to, I don't know. I just want to keep trying. I'm going to start adding some at the bottom layer here because once I put my hair up. Okay. Also, I've never tried to do like the mini buns before. Those little like buns that she has in her hair. You, you'll you see like the picture is going to probably be like, no. Yeah, the picture will definitely be at the beginning of the video. Like all the pictures usually are. Or I'll, maybe I'll add it in a little bit. Ooh, my ear. Maybe I'll add in a little bit there too. So this is like, everyone has been dyeing their hair during quarantine. This is like my version of that because I refuse to actually dye my hair because of all the damage that comes with it. I'm gonna do a little bit on the roots again. The roots are like giving us away yeah, we don't. And do, obviously, her little bang is right here. Do that. I want to get a good coat on this. This part. Not to look streaky. I have a lot of hair. So the, the thing is that I'm scared of is I don't want to run out. Because I've already done this before, but it was only on my ends. And I still do have a lot left, but I also have more hair than I did before when I did this the first time. So, yeah. That's really fun and fresh. And I feel like I have more hair on that side. Well, not more hair, but it's like the way I parted it. 
but no i mean i tried to do an even part but i feel like my hair is thicker on that side for some reason towards more so more like more so like towards the back but yeah so what have you guys been watching during quarantine um i think i'm gonna post my what to binge on netflix before this one i filmed a shit ton of videos one night i'm just gonna put that right here so i can reach the edges and stuff right here but um anyway so i think okay anyway um i was watching what have you guys been watching during quarantine that's what i was saying um but i was watching youtube videos for the first time in a long time yesterday because I had filmed a lot, I was filming like TikToks yesterday and I'm probably gonna film some more today just because I I want like, I mean, honestly, like why not film a TikTok at this point? At this point, what else am I doing? I've already filmed like 500 videos and I, don't want to like the thing is it's like I don't want to keep pre-filming because I also want to be able to talk about stuff that's going on like while I'm filming if that makes sense if that makes sense um I, like I want to talk about I want to be able to talk about ooh, I should move my hoodie but I can't because my hands okay so I want to be able to talk about things that are happening um at the time during my videos but I really can't because the thing is, it's like, cause I, I really can't because it's like, if I keep pre-filming the way that I've been doing, it's like every everything that I talk about has already, it's already has a video. It's already, not even already has a video. It already like happened such a long time ago. So when I'm making references to that, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like, People are like, okay, like, this girl's so late, but it's just because, like, I pre-filmed, you know? So, yeah, I'm just explaining why sometimes I don't always talk about something that's in the media. Because it's like, I don't want to seem, like, to go on and seem tone deaf and coming on to talk for, for views or anything like that. I just want to, you know, I don't know. I feel like everyone has a job in this world to educate each other everyone has a job to keep each other educated especially during times like these keep each other educated keep keep us in the know and yeah so this is exactly why i decided to do the hair first so let's see well not not because to keep each other educated but just because I could get some stuff on my face and stuff and not and risk not mess up the makeup, you know? Cause I'm the makeup is not that hard or anything, but I don't wanna have to be like having to redo it and then film me redoing it because I think that me redoing it I had more to say or there's a lot of things that go into me filming. I also overthink everything. So let's I'm getting the back like you guys are going to see the back. Probably not. I just want to make sure that I got it good. You know? Everywhere. The most authentic Meg the Stallion. Meg the Stallion. I could be. I love Meg the Stallion. I've been wanting to make a video on her or like celebrating her for a while I just didn't know what video to make because like what what look to recreate she does she does a lot she has a lot of really cool looks I think but yeah I'm just making sure it's not like too streaky streaky but what can you do listen besides not and I the thing is okay I feel like I could have ordered a wig right I could have but who has the money for that especially right now with everything going on so 
I'm doing this the way harder way. <laughs> okay. Let's see how we're gonna do this bun. This would be so much better if I actually knew how to make a bun without tangling up my hair. But it is what it is at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna take these because I feel like they're gonna be easier to wash than the rest of my little clips that I have. Cause those ones are all like kind of cloth clips. Not clips, um ponytail holders, whatever you call them. Um, hold on. But yeah, so I was watching earlier a YouTube video. I don't know if you guys know Ashley. I think I don't know how to say her last name at all. Apudo or something like that. I think it's an Italian name. I honestly am clueless. Like whoa so this is not coming out as good as i had hoped okay here's what we're gonna do okay now that's not even that good but listen work with me here okay and, and stuff after is this the most amazing bun no why did i pick such a hard one for the first one i have the second one picked out um i have to find the red so that's your hint um it's gonna be a red one i think that everyone's gonna be happy with the red one that i picked hopefully they will be if not like nothing I could do at this point that's the one I've been prepping for so all right I think it might be time I don't want it to look like all stringy in the front <sighs> this looks like black on the top still oh my gosh okay okay we're gonna stop freaking out so much. Basically, just gonna do the same thing to this side. And I'm probably gonna just turn off the camera for this and then come back and be blue. Okay. Okay, hi. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. It's been like no time for you. Okay, it's been like no time for you, but while I was away finishing finishing up my hair, I did eyebrows, um, prepped my eyes, concealer, and foundation. So, hi, um, I'm back and I'm a brand new person with completely different. So, sorry, the back is like, I could not, I do my best with the back, okay? I do my best. So, unless someone's going to come in here and help me, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. So, we are going to jump right into this eye look. I peeped that she had some, like, brownish in here, like, in right here. And uh, brown right in this rose gold palette. I'm going to use that brown in there, Henna. I use it for my everyday makeup, too. And I think it's just a really pretty, like, kind of brown shade. You could, like, obviously, like, when I'm doing my everyday makeup, it's just a light wash of color. And then I just go about my day, add it in a corner highlight and all that, and then go about my day. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to blend this in, and then we will start adding on top of it. My eyes are actually a little bit smaller than hers, so I'm going to do my best to make it look like, like hers and use the same colors and stuff. But, and I also want to say she didn't have a clear picture. She just had, um, what's it called? She just had like a picture, but the lashes were kind of blocking it. But I really like inspected it so I could see what color she used because I wanted to make a good video for you. So 
let's do this. I'm just going in and blending this color out. I'll probably cut some of the clips of this out. Um, that's just me telling myself, you're probably never gonna see me say that. So, yeah. Okay, now that that is on, we're gonna go into, I guessed it, the James Charles palette again, because I use this for pretty much every look um, that I do for videos. I actually, oop, okay. That was a weird way to open it, so, okay. Ooh, whoa, that would have been, a, I would have cried. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this denser, well, yeah, this denser brush. It's still a little bit fluffy just because I'm doing the outer corner, but, and I'm gonna go in with this, I think the shade is called Cola, that shade right in there, and yeah, because she had like a navy blue on the outer corner, so. We're just gonna go in like this. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more, but that is pretty. Thank you, Meg, for this look. That is really pretty. I only did like two taps and it came out like nice. If I could do the same for this eye, it's always harder for me to blend on this side. For some reason comment down below if you also have that issue um i want to do i'm gonna obviously layer more because hers was closer to black so i'm gonna layer on top of this like darker blues and stuff from other palettes but this is a good starting point because she had she had a big Let's see, a thing here. And I'm just trying to recreate that even though my eyes are way smaller than hers. I just want to keep the same energy as the other eye look. I wish I could know. She said that she does a lot of her own makeup by herself. And that's, I think that's really cool actually. Which is why, this is another reason why I wanted to do this. Because it's like, I feel like not an everyday per well yeah like an everyday person like me because I don't I don't consider myself like a like a makeup artist I just kind of know from tutorials you know from makeup tutorials on YouTube like this one so I'm gonna go back in with that brown just so we don't lose it I know hers didn't really show out that much but I think that I need it so that I look way less crazy. You know? I'm just going in a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't want to lose that brown that we added before. It's a pretty, like, skin tone shade. It doesn't show out much, but you know what I mean. I'm going to go in with a slightly darker color. Talk Derby to me from the Peach, Too Faced Peach palette. And I'm going to go in with this same dense fluffy brush. This is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna just be more careful with this, just to darken out that outer corner. That's why we didn't want to lose the brown, because if it's a really super dark outer corner, you don't want to just like have nothing there. Well, it appeared to be nothing there. You know, you have to have a base and build up from it. Don't worry, I'm gonna go in and just blend out the edges here but for as of right now it kind of does look good it's a little bit dark for my liking I don't really like um oh but I see why she did it like that like the shape is very pretty for your for especially like for me the, the eyes that I have um like almond shaped eyes I think it's, it's like, sad, like, oh my god, I keep forgetting I have blue hair, and I keep looking into the camera, and I have blue hair, and I'm like, whoa, who's that? Um, but yeah, I don't know. So this is a little bit darker than what I would usually do. So this is good for me to, like, experience other, um, just other styles of makeup. Just going again. There's nothing even really on this brush, I don't think. Because I didn't add anything else. 
just go in again make sure that there's that peak of that little sneak peek of warmth oh i almost put the black that would have been bad um not the black but the navy blue yeah this is definitely the the way that i wanted it to be now i'm going to go in with this navy blue right in here and put it on my lid she had a navy blue on her lid and i am copying her look today so that's what i'm gonna do yeah all the the james like okay i know that the james charles palace like super hyped up everywhere but i just want to say he did do a really good job on these colors and stuff and i don't even like wearing color that much and this definitely got me like reaching a little bit well not i don't like wearing colors i like certain colors like purples pinks oranges and stuff like that but before this i would never have done a yellow eye look because why like what palette has yellow in it that's not like too pasty for me and makes me look ashy well the answer is the james charles palette so yeah i don't know i just feel like i know everybody hypes it up and whatever but i just want to say that some sometimes the hype is is worth it you know he like he definitely this palette is definitely really good he did a good job i don't know if it's like specifically him or morphe i don't want to take any from oh wow this is a lot oh my gosh this is a lot of color on me and i'm not used to wearing this amount of color i'm trying to come out of my comfort zone though like i want to do an all green look I want to try it just to see how I react to it so I mean it doesn't look bad I mean it doesn't look bad it just looks better on Megan <laughs> which is like I knew that was gonna happen but it's okay I'm gonna just go back in with that henna shade just to like reinforce that brown I think at this point it's for my purely for my own comfort wow it's just dark you know it's just it's just dark um don't worry i'm gonna go in and do the eyebrow things too right after i finish the look the eye look it's very dark Ooh, okay 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 we're not going to focus on how dark it is um i'm gonna go in with the you already know norvina palette because what else would i be using for my inner corner and Oh, I also have to bronze. Okay, okay. So we're gonna bronze before we do the eyebrow thing. So, okay. I'm gonna go in with this shade in here called Dreamer. Cause that's like a, that's a silver, but I've had it on my face before. And it's really, it's really pretty. I'll try to mix the two of them, but I can't promise you that that's gonna look amazing. So let's see. Okay, you can't even see my inner corner. You can't, you can't see it for you, like, but I can see it. But this is a video for you, so. I tried to blend a little bit into the crease. I mean, not the crease, the lid. But I don't know if it's working the way I wanted it to. I mean, kind of. What do you think? I think it's taking away from the blue. Just because this is a dark, this is dark blue, you know? I just don't want to lose it. So I'm putting, going over it with a little bit. I think it's pretty though. Okay. Now we're going to do bronzer. Same bronzing routine as usual. I honestly should have done it off of camera, but I genuinely forgot. So the face, I do not want to look pale so yeah now we're done with bronzer i'm gonna get my my tattoo studio eyeliner and just do 
So she had like a spade here, which to me is just a thick triangle and then a heart right here. So I'm going to put two right here. I can't. Okay, hold on. The same eyebrow stuff as we used last time for the um you should be sad video wow in my head i filmed that such a long time ago but you guys will have only seen it two weeks after two weeks before this one goes up so this i mean does it look amazing no but does it kind of look like hers yes should I have done it a little bit higher up for my eyebrow? Yes, but it's too late for that now. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Okay, I've been watching too much Glee. Everything becomes a song with me now. So, all right, we're gonna go in with that heart. <sighs> we can't mess up the heart, but I am not good at drawing hearts. You okay. Let's just go in. Okay. That's not a good heart, but listen. I said I wasn't good at drawing hearts. We're going to go in and fill that in. And then probably try to fix the little piece right there. That's going with some concealer once this dries. And add a little like, well, I mean, yeah, I'll add like a little thing going in. But for now, we are gonna spray our face and then put mascara on while these dry. Most, this one, face. I don't wanna spray my face face, but I wanna like set my face with the thing. So I'm gonna go in with this. Just a little bit. Then we're gonna go in and just, just pat it in, you know? Very, very careful. So we're going to take a little bit of concealer. Just a little bit, little glob. It looks good from far away. I just, I can't do the heart. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I tried. But, good thing my bangs will cover it up. Hopefully, a little bit. We're going to do the lips. I'm going to go in with... Urban Decay's Hex, and I'm just gonna, cause she had like a, a wine kind of red, and then a red on top, so. Okay. Oh, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like an e-girl right now. I'm not saying I'm gonna do my makeup like this all the time, but. I don't know. Oh, it matches my sweater. Kind of cute. Okay. Hey, today. Well, the everything lips. Urban Decay Vice set. It's like a lipstick thing where you can make your own lipstick. Got this for Christmas. And I think I'm going to go in with Spark. Spark in 714. Kind of look. Well, on camera, they look different. Actually, I'm going to go in with 714 because on camera... It looks brighter, uh, like a brighter berry kind of shade, color. And I'm going to go in right in the middle. Wow, this is going to take a lot of blending, so stay tuned. Put a spark and 720, just because I think, yeah. Just be careful if you're doing this for like Halloween or something. These, the like reds usually tend to bleed and I don't want your makeup not being flawless because over here we do flawless makeup. Okay, 
so now i am actually closing out the video thank you so much for watching and that's a wrap